What's up, guys, from St. Joseph, Missouri? Yeah, we've been enjoying our little trip here, visiting family and catching up with everybody. Yeah, it worked really well parking in our grandma's driveway. It's pretty quiet. And I get to visit with grandma as much as I want, and she's just loved that. Yeah. <laughs> We wanted to talk about staying connected on the road, but first we wanted to show our new state map. We had the idea, the RV came with this one. A lot of you have seen the one on the door. It's pretty much updated besides a few states that was already on there that we didn't want to try to peel off because they probably won't go back on. Right, so we'll be there eventually. So that one's really plain too, and we like this one. This one kind of has the slogans for each state. So, we had the idea to put it in the frame, and we usually put it in the window over here while we're driving. And then everybody that passes us on this side <laughs> sees the sign. Mm -hmm. Or if we park somewhere on the street or whatever. But we need to update it. We need to add... Oh, no, we don't need to add anything. Oh, well, Oklahoma. We Oklahoma, to... yeah. We stayed in Oklahoma with Matt and Maria. Actually, we stayed quite a few days through Oklahoma. Yep, we have been to more states, but we haven't been there in this RV or anything or camped in them. We went all the way through Arkansas, but all we did is stay at a couple Walmarts and just yeah, cut through. We so we didn't, really yeah, we didn't count it yet. It was still cold. That was while well, it was beginning of winter. I count it as if if I feel like I really got a sense of the state and really kind of you know got to see. Yeah, if we've done something yeah. there. Something. something neat yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it doesn't we don't have no certain rule like have no. dinner somewhere because we don't i mean right. most of the time we don't buy dinner places we make it ourselves but i mean on occasion we do eat out mm -hmm. most of this we've been to we had good wi-fi service all the way through here there's certain areas out west especially when you get out in the middle of the desert and a lot of the valleys in california in we use at&t uh, Wi-Fi, it's a hot spot. It's, it's truly unlimited. We're not going to get into that on this video, but it is truly unlimited. We use a lot, five, six hundred gigabytes a month. We use every month and never, ever slows down. But it's very but, important for us for lots of reasons, especially just getting around to finding where we're going to mm -hmm. be next and where we're going to get gas and yep. all that stuff. It's really important for us to have Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's not just staying connected with, with, you know, you guys and social media and YouTube. It's just, you know, it's it's finding our next place to live, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I mean, sometimes I, a few times I didn't have anything. I couldn't, I couldn't look anything up, so I had to just make my way out of the place and wait till we got service and mm -hmm. find somewhere to stop and pull over and figure out where we're going. But to help with that problem, we got the Wi-Fi Smooth Talkers Mobile RV Z6 Pro 4G LTE. It's a cellular signal booster, six band. It works really well. It does. Now we haven't tested it a whole lot because we got it on our way back. Where did we pick that up, New Mexico? I think in the big camping store, you know, the big chain. I think we got it in New Mexico. I want to say Albuquerque. Yeah. Yeah, I think Albuquerque. Right. Something like that. But, I mean, so far I have tested it quite a few times. I, do I uh, downloaded the speed test app on my phone. And I tested it quite a few times on the way back. And it pretty much usually doubles the speed up and down. But not always. Sometimes it just, in, you know, sometimes it only improves it a little bit. But that little bit can make a huge difference yes, sometimes. Yes, it can. I mean, we've been places where we had one bar and it wasn't really usable. I mean, you could check your email, but it was like dial-up speed. You know, you'd wait five minutes, ten minutes for your email to open. So it was a big investment, but for us it was totally worth it. Yeah, so far it has totally been worth it because <laughs> those couple places that we only had one bar and it wasn't usable, I think that thing would have gave us enough speed Maybe not to watch Netflix or anything, but I think we would have been easily able to check emails and social media, stuff like that. But so far, I mean, a couple places on the way back, we didn't really have, 
I mean, we had service, but Netflix was grainy. I mean, it was grainy. And I would turn that on, and it would clear up. And we could actually, you know, I mean, I could watch it before if there's nothing else. But it actually cleared it up where it was, you know, it was at least 720. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, I definitely recommend it. We was looking for the Wii Boost. That's why we went there. But they didn't have Wii Boost. That's what they had. They have a 12-volt model with the, you know, the cigarette lighter plug. And they also have the AC, and I did AC because we have solar, so, I mean, it's it's on whenever I need it to be on. So, yeah, and very easy to, you know, run a little antenna. I ran it just with the solar wires. I ran it out the fridge vent, and it's just a tiny little antenna. I just stuck it onto our rear AC. But we will give another update on it once we use it more because we haven't, what have we had, a month? Mm -hmm. Not very long month month and a half yeah i would say a month something like that actually hooked up and working yeah. so yeah all right we will see you guys soon we will hopefully know more about yeah. when we're heading out and where we're going don't forget to subscribe if you haven't give us a thumbs up and definitely leave us a comment if you have any ideas for us, great places to work camp that you've been before or you know about. Um, we'd definitely be interested in any feedback on that stuff. Yep, north. Yes. North, near you near know, Canada. We're trying not to sweat through the summer. We want to keep it up high. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.